New Employee Orientation. Welcome! Whether you have just been hired as a server, a prep cook, or a corporate delivery driver, you are now part of our team. So welcome to the FIRE Society. The FIRE Society, or TFS as we will refer to it from now on, is the LLC that we operate under. It is home to the three brands that we will cover in this introduction to working with us. It is important that you know the FIRE Society as a company name. It is the name that will appear on many documents such as your W-2 as well as your paycheck and direct deposit. First, we are going to clarify the three brands that operate under TFS. Foxtail Catering and Events is essentially our main brand and probably the name that you will hear and see most often when working our events. It is our full service catering and event planning company. Foxtail Catering does a number of different types of events from conferences, to corporate galas, to weddings, to holiday parties, and much more. Most of our events are done under the Foxtail Catering brand, but not all of them. LRE Catering, which stands for Living Room Events, is a catering brand that we purchased in 2013. Our LRE brand specializes in weddings, though not all of our weddings are done under LRE and LRE does more than just weddings. This brand also works on a lot of in-home private parties and celebrations. Many of our baby showers, anniversary parties, and dinner parties are done under our LRE brand. And finally, we have 415 Catering. 415 Catering is essentially our corporate meal program. When businesses or corporations want to provide on-site meal service for their employees, our 415 Catering brand is set up to handle their needs. Because what 415 Catering does is very different from corporate or social events like holiday parties and weddings, it operates in many ways that are slightly different from Foxtail and LRE. However, it does have some aspects that overlap with the other two brands and it is a very important part of TFS. Okay, you know TFS and our three brands. Now let's get to know our food. If you are going to represent a company, you should know what you are representing. And here's a bit of what you're representing when you work for TFS. When it comes to our food, we have a restaurant style approach, which means that we finish the vast majority of our food on site and write menus that take into account on site logistics in a manner that allows us to create the best possible food in every situation. We also adhere to a very strict policy of seasonality. We source farm direct produce and proteins and we only use sustainable fish. Awesome, now let's meet our team. Along with what you are representing, you should know who you are representing. Our team consists of our event planners, operation managers, and kitchen managers, as well as the amazing individuals who make up our full-time staff and on-call roster. Our event planners are the people who create our events, and they are awesome. Some of them work with specific clients, some specialize in certain types of events, all are very good at what they do, and each brings an individualized flair to their events. 
Most of our staff meet our event planners while working our events, since they tend to be very hands-on and present at most of the events they create. We currently have six event planners who work with us full-time. First, we have Rhonda. Then we have Patrick, also known as Packy. Next, we have Melissa, whom we call Mel, and we have Allison, who we call Allie. Finally, we have Melinda, as well as Christina, who is the exclusive event planner for LRE Catering. Up next, we have our operations team. It takes an amazing team to pull off what we do. Planning, production, staffing, equipment, there is a lot involved in order to accomplish any event, big or small. Our operations team takes care of the behind the scenes logistics for everything TFS does. Come meet the crew. First, we have Tommy. He's the owner and operator of TFS and all of its brands. Next, we have Matt. He's our COO or Chief Operations Officer. We have Bryn, who manages most of our HR as well as our accounting and payroll. While Alicia, the staffing manager, manages the hiring, training, and staffing for our events. We have Daniel, who manages all sorts of operational procedures, as well as crunches our numbers. And Paola manages our ever-expanding warehouse and equipment inventory. Chelsea assists with marketing and event design, as well as handles all of our floral needs for our events. And finally, Devin is the account manager for 415 Catering and handles their clientele. Finally, when it comes to our team, we cannot forget our kitchen managers. We are a catering company after all. We have a number of culinary masterminds who run our production kitchen, which acts like two kitchens in one. Half of our kitchen is utilized by our events crew. They produce the menu items for all of the Foxtail and LRE events. The other half of our kitchen is utilized by our corporate crew. They produce the 415 catering menu, which changes every day. The events crew is led by Kim, and she is assisted by Cameron and Alan. Then we have 415 Catering Production, or our corporate crew. They are led by Courtney, who is assisted by Ian and James. Okay, everyone, let's wrap this up with a few basics of working with our companies. At Will Employment. We sincerely hope that your employment here will be a positive and rewarding experience. All employment at the Fire Society is at will. This means that you are free to leave at any time for any reason, just as we are free to terminate your employment at any time for any reason, with or without notice, with or without cause. Employees may be demoted or disciplined, and the terms and conditions of their employment may be altered at any time, with or without cause and notice, at the discretion of TFS. Examples of the types of terms and conditions of employment that are within the sole discretion of TFS include, but are not limited to, the following. Promotions, demotions, hiring decisions, compensation including bonuses and commissions, qualifications, discipline, layoff, hours and schedules, job duties and responsibilities, consolidation of operations, and any other terms or conditions deemed appropriate. Next, let's cover some general conduct guidelines. Although it is impossible to give an exhaustive list of everything that professional conduct means, it does, at a minimum, include the following. Taking pride and care in your personal appearance and conveying a professional image. Act 
acting in a professional manner whenever you are representing the fire society at business or social functions. This includes your appearance, conduct, behavior, and demeanor. Make sure you follow directions from your supervisors, accepting work assignments and assuming responsibility for completion. Demonstrate initiative by seeking out additional challenges and opportunities for professional growth. Pay close attention to detail and demonstrate conscientious concern for thorough and complete work. Try to do the best job possible given varying conditions and adjusting to changes in priorities, circumstances, and work directions. Approach your job with a positive and productive attitude. Treat coworkers, customers, and vendors with patience, respect, and consideration. Demonstrate teamwork and a cooperative spirit. Lastly, be courteous and helpful to others including supervisors, staff, and clients. Refrain from rude, offensive, or outrageous behavior. We expect our employees to behave in an appropriate manner when interacting with customers and other employees. Individuals who act unprofessionally and or cannot adhere to these basic guidelines will face disciplinary action up to and including termination. The scheduling system that we use is called StaffMate. Upon hire, everyone receives their own StaffMate login and each employee has an individualized calendar which shows their schedule. Our TFS scheduling and staffing video explains this system and how we use it. But you should know that all employees are responsible for using this system for scheduling their shifts and to reference their schedule. Our shift availability varies depending on the time of year. Though our scheduling does allow for flexibility, we go through busy and slow periods where shift availability can increase or decrease. TFS offers a number of front of house and back of house designation opportunities for qualified staff. Along with fulfilling qualifications, each position that TFS offers has a training program associated with that position. All staff are required to complete the designated training program for the position that they wish to work. Our training programs are not a replacement for actual experience. They are meant to train new staff on TFS protocols and procedures, as well as reinforce positive behaviors and practices among our staff. Having prior hands-on experience is a requirement of all positions. The full explanation of the TFS training program can be found in your new hire folder. You may also ask the staffing manager for a copy or request to have a PDF copy emailed to you. Note that our Level 1, Waitstaff 1 and Culinary 1 are open to all new hires. However, the subsequent designations, Waitstaff 2, Culinary 2, and all lead positions are open to staff via a nomination process and only when we have a need for more leads. The full explanation of the nomination process can also be found in your new hire folder attached to the explanation of the training program. Well everyone, that's our orientation. Welcome to the Fire Society.